everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Farm Simulator 2019. Today we are up to episode number 25 of our Let's Play series so if you could quickly drop us a like it would be very much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So today episode number 25 what are we doing? Well we as we said in yesterday's episode we are going to be purchasing the harvester today in order to harvest uh, the crops that are growing on of course field 17 here but uh, what we're going to do is jump into the truck the lizard pickup truck 2014 and we are going to be driving down to the shop and go and speak with the dealer and see what he can do for us of course Now, as we said, this week has been an absolute nightmare of a week. It's been really, really busy. It's uh, quite snowed under with an awful lot of things. And after feeling quite rough last week, we of course wanted to uh, have a bit of an easier week. So yeah, the videos this week have been a bit shorter than usual. It will be the same again today, unfortunately. It's just the way that uh, things are working. And as I said, this video is of course being recorded early, straight off the back of Thursday's episode, because of uh, the way the week's been and the fact that uh, we are of course stuck in a health and safety meeting all day. So yeah, that's uh, what's happening today. Shut off that, and then we can head on in to the store. As I say, we want a harvester. We don't need to be purchasing any special kind of harvesters, um, purely because of it's only cereal crops that we've got at the moment. So that puts us straight into normal harvesters. Now, we've got 3.6 million, but of course we really want to be spending a lot of that money on animals. So we don't want to be going too expensive obviously if we come right up to the high end yeah four hundred and sixty five thousand pounds for the uh, agco even though it's a very very nice harvester indeed fent branding massey ferguson branding challenger but uh yeah honestly i don't think it really Again, if you want to change the engine size, it doesn't make any difference to the amount it can carry, of course. Just a bigger engine and more horsepower, which seems pretty pointless in a harvester, but uh, I'm sure many of you will tell us different there. But uh, yeah, I think going for the, uh, the ideal would be on the extravagant side of harvesting. We got the CR1090, which again is uh, a very big harvester. Quite expensive, again for what it is. It's uh, 700 horsepower. Look, it's a huge beast that one is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the CR1090 was of course in 2015 as well uh, in 2017 so yeah it's been in the last three now um, the last three games but 430,000 can sound a bit expensive for what we need now you got the case IH or the IH case whichever way you like to put it around is the 9240 again this is the axle flow it was again in 2017 I'm gonna say it was also in 2015 but uh, let us know in the comment section if that was the case well, like I say today is about the new harvester we are purely shopping for a harvester today so we want to get uh, the right one so we'll weigh up all of our options of course now you've got the John Deere the S790 
This is, of course, one of the new additions to Farming Simulator 19. As uh, John Deere have only just joined the game this year. And you've got a few options. You've got twin wheels on the front. You have the standard wheels. You have wide tyres. And you have the crawler tracks. Again, 625 horsepower is a huge bit of kit, but it's only 390,000, it's about 100,000 pounds less than the previous stuff, but still a big, big piece of machinery. And then just below that, we've got the uh, Rostel Marsh. Now, Roster Marsh was in 2017. Uh, they did have some Roster Marsh in uh, 2015, I believe, but it wasn't that extensive stuff. Again, a slightly smaller harvester. Has that got the uh, bailing function on the back? That's what that looks like. That looks like it's got a baler on the back. I'm tempted to say that might be an interesting one to get. We could bail up the uh, straw as we're going. If that's the case, am I looking at that correctly? It's on the back there. That's what it looks like anyway. Well, it'd be interesting to uh, try that one out, I think. But uh, for today, I think we are looking at the John Deere seven uh, S790 I think uh, just the wide tyres would do us, I don't think the crawler tracks look particularly nice on the harvesters twin wheels of course would give it that extra support for the long wide headers, so yeah, four hundred thousand pounds. I think that is going to be the one. So we are going to purchase that. There we go. Right or wrong? Let us know in the comment section down below. Do you think we've purchased the right bit of kit there? Or if you know, uh, yeah, if you know. If this Rostel Marsh does contain the baler on the back, let us know in the comment section as well. Be interesting to know. That's what it looks like. I could be wrong. But uh, I think we'll try that one out at some point. But uh, that's that bit done. We do, of course, then need a header for it. Uh, so heading to headers. And across, we, of course, want the... John Deere. This is the big John Deere header. Again, it's uh, the standard cereal crop header, but uh, it's the one we're going to need. So it's another eighty-nine thousand pounds, and of course we're going to need a trailer to put it on. Header trailers. Now they don't actually have a huge trailer header. The biggest one is uh, this one here. The good thing is we can of course change it for a John Deere colour. It's a shame, a real shame that we couldn't uh, change the wheels as well. But nevertheless that is uh, gonna purchase that another nine thousand pounds there expensive for this harvester 
And like I say, there we go. So, let's uh, jump on into the new harvester, or have a quick look at it anyway. As we say, this is John Deere 790, the S790. Again, a huge, huge, huge bit of kit. The size of these wheels. But uh, that's what it is. I'm going to jump on in. It's beacons, etc., the various controls inside. Okay, all nicely done. What we are going to do is just drive over a header. Okay. So, of course, need to get this header picked up off the floor. as well. The wall itself. We just need to quickly move our pickup truck. Walls up there, we'll turn it off there. Because this header is so long, you're going to have to have it hanging over the back slightly. And of course, we want to lower that header down. Detach. And there we go. Now you can, of course, connect. the header trailer to the harvester. The only downside is, as you can see, it is uh, rubbing on that back there, so we're going to leave that there. And we'll let the pickup truck take that up to the farm. Crack on with uh, getting the harvested back to the farm, of course. As you can see, it is absolutely huge. It does take up the majority of the uh, road. Of course, when we get traffic coming, we will be pulling over like this. itself is going to be very awkward to try and uh, get stored in a shed I think Being, uh, back in there the front wheels are looking a bit wide Got it in. Whoops, that's <laughs> actually teleported us out of the building. Oh dear. But, uh, oh yeah, we've got plenty of room at the back there to uh, get further back if needed. But there we go, that is the harvester.
sorted for today. It's nicely in there. Let's uh, quickly run back to the shop. We go pick up, pick up, pick up the pickup. There you go. Yeah, pick up the pickup truck. We have, of course, the uh, trailer header. Run down there, get our daily exercise. But uh, again, hopefully we've made the right decision in terms of what we've purchased there. Again, if you think we've made the right decision, or even if you think we've made the wrong decision, let us know in the comment section down below. Let us know your thoughts. And try and give some reasoning. There's no good just saying, no, you made the wrong decision there. Don't uh, just leave it at that. Let us know you've made the wrong decision because of, for whatever reason, of course, it was too expensive, it's too big for your farm, or again, let us know. All your feedback and comments are very much appreciated. We do enjoy reading all your comments. Quickly run across here, back into the shop, and back into the pickup. Yes, I know we need to start the engine first. So, get that uh, hooked up, like so. This thing's going to be huge to pull along, look. Of course, want those beacons on as well, just to show how long this thing is. The good thing is, of course, it is a steering trailer. So if you steer around a corner, it knows to steer as well. Which, of course, does mean it's going to be easier to get around some of the tighter corners. But that being said, trying to. Uh, reverse these trailers are very hard indeed but if you've got the experience to do that then well done there we go into the farm and what we're going to do is bring it round the back here going to store it just along this piece of grass here so that uh, it's out of the way but it's not uh, going to cause us any problems but there we go so that is the new harvester like I say today's episode was going to be a bit of a shorter one purely because of time restraints we are on today but uh, hopefully you approve of the harvester if you don't or even if you do drop your comments down below in the comment section let us know your views of course and we'll try and answer any questions in the next video but uh, for today that is going to be it so hopefully you have enjoyed watching this one in fact the time we've uh, been shopping for our harvester look fields have grown, the crops have all grown, they're all ready to harvest now. So, yeah we've got that one to get done, harvesting will be on the cards very soon, but uh, for today that is going to be it, hopefully you enjoyed this one, if you have remember of course to drop us a like, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new, and we can share today's video with family and friends or anybody else you think may enjoy it would also be very much appreciated but like we say that is going to be it for today thank you very much for watching this one and we shall see you in the next one bye for now